God in grace. Yeah. Life and every other thing are falling into place. Hello beautiful, welcome to another video. My name is Namalina and in today's video we are talking all about winter shoes, particularly focusing on boots. I have seven pairs of shoes and I do have one pair of shoes that is not boots. All of the items from today are from Yellow Sub Trading. If you are looking for small street and Marawa style items but you're not based in Gauteng, then you can visit the Yellow Sub Trading website to purchase your items. So for today's video, all the links for all of the items will be in the description box if you are interested in purchasing them. They deliver door to door nationwide, straight to your door. You don't have to go to the post office or anything of the sort. And you can order from the comfort of your home. If you're based in Gauteng, they offer same day delivery if you order in the morning. So I suggest you order between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. and you will get same day delivery if you're based in a main lying area in Gauteng. And for the rest of the country, it is overnight delivery. So very, very quick delivery i've seen a lot of your comments a lot of you guys are very happy with the delivery i know some of you guys have an issue with returns so i'm going to highly highly recommend that you guys go visit their website there is a part where you can choose to have a return or an exchange you don't need to call you don't need to sms once you start calling smsing and emailing that's when you're going to have a very bad experience because that's not how their system runs returns can be processed on their website and that's the best way to process returns and exchanges is to visit their website they have a return portal where you can put in all your information and you can request that they collect the item from you or you can choose your own courier company it is completely up to you but if you want to have a good return process please 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 use the return portal it is literally on their website and i'll leave a clip of it somewhere on the side for you guys to see it that's how you're going to have a good return experience everyone that i spoke to who did not have a good return or exchange experience is because they were phoning the phone number they were whatsapping they were emailing they were smsing you're going to have a bad experience if you do that guys trust me please use their website they have a return portal and it makes it so much easier okay so without any further ado guys let's get right into today's video item number one is an item that i shared with you guys on my instagram and tiktok and you guys requested that i add it to this even though it is not boots and it is the famous teddy bear slippers guys how super cute are these so these are available in a variety of colors i got the rainbow edition now if you guys have been watching my channel for quite some time Last year, I looked high and low for these. People were saying, oh, you can find them at Checkers, or you can find them at Small Street, you can find them at Dragon City. I went to all of those places, and I never found them. Some places had slippers that kind of looked like teddy bear slippers, but they were not the actual teddy bear slippers, and I wanted the actual, actual teddy bear slippers. So last year, I imported this, and they were really, really expensive. With my shipping, my customs, and everything, it was around 600 rand per pair. And then this year on take a lot they're around 400 and something rand on take a lot for a pair of these slippers but from yellow sub trading they're really really affordable this is the best price that i've found for them so the quality of these is fantastic i know somebody asked me to show you guys a little close-up of them the quality of these is really fantastic they do not shed or anything of the sort they have two sizes which is something i've never seen anywhere else they have two sizes and last year I purchased these shoes, imported them, cost me over like 600 rand per pair of shoes and they didn't fit. I was so pissed. They did not fit. So this year I went for their bigger size. They have two sizes. I went for six to eight because I am a true size seven. So I got the six to eight and it fits perfectly. You put your foot in under the head of the little teddy bear. Then you slip this part here at the back right here. Um, behind your foot and it fits perfectly somebody asked to see the back this is what the back looks like they are standard teddy bear slippers um, but the quality of the fur is really good it doesn't shed or anything and it's really 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 good um, if you guys remember the emoji slippers that were in style and everybody was going crazy over those it's very very similar to those but the quality of the fur and the shoe is of a higher quality but the base is the same and the interior of the shoe is the same but the outside of it feels like an actual Popeye like it feels like Care Bears was it Care Bears? Aradakalan Sesame that's more relatable it feels like Uturu Mushe Mo Mushe Teletubbies 
it feels like a total teletubby. Those of you guys who had teletubby teletubbies, um, Popeyes, like, it feels like an actual bear. Where else, with the emoji slippers, they had this plasticky feel to them, like a thin feel to them. If any of you guys had those emoji slippers, these don't feel like that. They feel like an actual, like, a Popeye that you, like, buy for a child, except it's a shoe. Some people said this makes them uncomfortable and it looks weird. I don't think it looks weird. I think it looks really, really cute. Next up is these shoes. Now, I got them in the black color. And guys, I know I keep getting stuff in black. A lot of the shoes are actually black for today. I just like black. But I don't know why. But these shoes, they feel like witch shoes. I don't know how else to explain it. Like, there's something about them. And I don't know if it's the black color. Because the brown and the caramel look so beautiful. It's available in a variety of colors. There's something about these shoes that just looks like witch shoes i get the aesthetic you know the kim k aesthetic you're wearing like maybe the beige ones or the caramel ones with the matching tracksuit and a little cap and you know you've got like a coat on or something of the sort i understand that look but for some reason they just feel like witch shoes and i don't know why i really don't know why okay these are very comfortable. I think I'm going to give you guys a rating for all the shoes. The slippers, I'm giving them a 9 out of 10. The interior and the sole of the shoe, like the back of the shoe, is not the highest quality. But the teddy bear itself is really good quality. And it looks just like the pictures, so 9 out of 10. These shoes, I'm giving them a 10 out of 10. They look like the pictures. They're very, very, very comfortable. There's another pair of shoes I want to show you guys that is terrible. Um, they're very comfortable. I just feel like this is not something that's timeless. This is something you purchase now because there's a certain look you're going for. But over time, these are just not going to work. They're not timeless. And I don't know why, but I keep thinking of which shoes. But these are absolutely a 10 out of 10. They run true to size, so you can absolutely purchase your actual size on the Yellow Sub Trading website. For styling of these shoes, I am just wearing these shoes with the black jumpsuit, body glove, whatever you want to call it, from Yellow Sub Trading that I showed you guys in the previous video. Somebody asked me about the quality of it. It's really not good. It is on the thinner side, the, the jumpsuit. And then I'm wearing these shoes with a uh, cashmere and fox fur coat okay this is one of my new coats in my collection this is actually for work um it's a cashmere and a fox fur coat talking about the kim k aesthetic guys these shoes okay so i know everybody wants like the caramel color that's the color everybody's going crazy over and that's exactly why i didn't take it that's why i went for the beige you guys know i don't like community clothing got the anc t-shirt I don't like that type of thing. So if everybody has the black version of something and I really like the shoe, I'm taking the white version, okay? So I got the beige color. There's a beautiful, beautiful caramel color. It looks just like the picture. There's a gold little detail here. But these shoes are incredibly uncomfortable, okay? These shoes are incredibly uncomfortable and I am giving these shoes a 4 or a 5 out of 10. The base has absolutely no grip. And the shoe is just so uncomfortable. Like, it is so uncomfortable. On my TikTok, I had a few people tell me how they feel. Only one person said they're comfortable. Everybody else was like, they're terrible. Like, they're really, really bad. And I feel the same way. Maybe we're not the same. I don't know. But for me personally, they're not comfortable at all. But they do run true to size. So you can take your actual size with these. These are styled in three different ways. I have the puffer coat from Yellow Sub Trading. And then I also have the fur coat from Yellow Sub Trading. If you guys watch my winter jackets haul, I have all these items reviewed in detail. And then I also have a fox fur coat. You guys can let me know if you're interested in a real fur review. But this is one of my real fur um jackets uh, a fox fur jacket all styled with this item as well and you can also wear it with a blazer i think on my tiktok i had it worn with a blazer as well so you really have options with this item next up we have these boots from yellow sub trading ah these boots i don't know if they run a bit a bit just a tiny bit a tiny bit big or if i'm supposed to wear socks with these because i did not wear socks with these but I feel like they're perfect if you're going to wear socks with them. If you're not going to wear socks with them, they're kind of weird. There's something about them that's not quite there. So I would give these a 6.5 out of 10. Simply because there's something just a little bit off with their sizing. There's like a really hard part here at the back of the shoe. And if you're not wearing socks, it feels weird. And I, I got my actual size. So I'd give these like a 6.5 
out of 10. These are flats. I know a lot of you guys asked for flats. I feel like these will not be timeless because just the way they have like the shiny part and then this part, like the nylonish part. I just feel like these are not going to be timeless. But otherwise, they're really, really nice. It's just that something's a little bit off with their sizing. I feel like if I wear thick socks, they're going to be perfect. But using my actual size and like not wearing anything, just putting them on while I was trying them on for you guys, something was a bit off about these boots. So for these boots, I styled them with the black jumpsuit. You guys are going to be seeing that a lot. I'm just trying to keep it simple so you guys can focus on the shoes. And then I wore these shoes with a jacket that I got from Zaful. I collaborated with them on TikTok. And this is a really beautiful black jacket. Absolutely, absolutely love this jacket. It's super, super warm. And that's the look I would have with these shoes. Next up is a pair of shoes that has blown me away. I'm not really a red shoes type of person. But these heels are incredible. I'm telling you now, I'm giving them a 10 out of 10. They fit true to size. This is what these darlings look like. Okay, so you've got a little zip over here. And then this material stretches, okay? This material gives you a full stretch, which is fantastic. Because what I forgot to tell you guys about those Kim K type of boots, these ones. I feel like if you have thick... What do you call it? This part, this part of your leg, like under your knee, but not like the bottom of your foot. If you have thickness over here, these are not going to work for you. Like, I really feel like you have the slightest stretch ever, but I really feel like these are not going to work for you. So if you know you're a little bit thick down there, I do not suggest those shoes. Whereas these ones, I highly recommend for everyone. Okay, so they have a really, really, really nice stretch over here. They have a zip opening over here. Nice, chunky heel. Very, very comfortable. But the best part about these shoes is over here, as we're going up. Because remember, we have different shapes. Some people are like this. Some people are like this. We have different shapes, right? So what I love about these is they have this part here where you can tighten it up. Or you can loosen it up it is functional okay you can tighten it up you can loosen it up these are absolutely fantastic i highly 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 recommend these so i style these with the houndstooth coat that you guys saw in my previous video just a really bright pop of red maybe i would have like a red lip i i'm sure you guys have never seen me with a red lip because i'm a nude lip type of hand uh but yeah maybe for that day i would do like a nude lip and nice sleek bob something like that would be really cool and then i have this red blazer from yellow sub trading it's supposed to be a blazer dress. It's red, okay? Like, a great match for these shoes. But the curves be curving, the bum be bumming, and it just, it doesn't close, okay? So, but that is the last item that I started with. If you guys are interested in the blazers and suits video, let me know. I am making this boots video because a majority of the comments were saying you're interested in the boots. So, if you guys don't tell me you're interested in something, I won't make the video, okay? So, if you guys are interested in the blazers and suits, let me know. And also, if you're interested in the matching sets, let me know. I so saw a lot of people were not interested in that. So, I guess maybe I won't be making that video. You guys can let me know. Guys, 10 out of 10, these shoes are, they are fantastic. They are absolutely fantastic. And with the Kim K ones, they come folded, which is not a big deal. But when you store them, please make sure that you store them properly because it's a bit sensitive. It's a pleather. Whereas with this one, it is not a pleather. You can store it whichever way and they'd be perfectly fine. Like these, these, these are really good. Even if you get them in another color, these are fantastic. Next up is these boots okay so last year i showed you guys a glossy version which i'll show you guys next just for comparison's sake but darling look at these shoes i think they are so beautiful i really think these are just stunning fabulous 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 they fit true to size i got a size seven and i absolutely love these now for these i went super super bold I am wearing a cow print coat. This is a faux fur cow print coat. Yo, this is one of my best purchases for winter 2022. I like, I love the drama of this faux fur coat. It is fantastic. And I'm just wearing it with the bodysuit, body glove, whatever you want to call it, jumpsuit from Yellow Sub Trading, the black one. And I'm also wearing it with these boots. These are fantastic. I am going to give these a 10 out of 10. They are really, really nice. 
very comfortable and they fit true to size last but definitely not least i showed these to you guys last year i was wearing these in my previous small street marawa stud haul where i showed you guys the coats these are the shoes that i was wearing throughout the video they are fantastic they also have a red version available so if you're interested in the red version these are really great please guys store them properly because you don't want to get like scratches on them they come in boxes so when you guys place your orders all of your shoes will come in boxes so just keep the box and then keep your um, shoes placed properly so that they don't scratch and stuff because guys can see this is very sensitive in comparison to the previous pair that i showed you guys this is what they look like side by side. So I hope this helps you guys make a decision because I know some of you guys were not sure which one you would like. They are very, very similar. I like both of them because why not, darling? Why not? I really like both of them, but this is my favorite. This is my favorite. Hence why I'm showing it to you guys two times in a row. A fantastic purchase fits true to size. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. These are my new winter shoes for winter 2022. Even though the last pair of shoes, you know, last year, I've shown them to you guys last year, but I really, really, really love all the items that I have. These Kim K ones, they're the worst ones, okay? I know they're very pretty, they're fantastic for pictures, but guys, they're uncomfortable. I saw one person who said they're comfortable. Maybe I don't understand, me and other people who don't understand what comfortable is. I don't know. If you do have the opportunity, please go in-store and purchase in-store. Yellow Sub Trading has stores in Gauteng. They have a store stores in Marabastad, and they have stores in in pretoria cbd so if you're able to access those areas that would be fantastic but for the rest of us shopping online works really really well and if you're going to return and exchange please guys find the return portal on their website you don't have to call you don't have to email all you have to do is put in your information follow the instructions and they will come and collect please note that you will then be responsible for the fee for the item to go back to Yellow Sub Trading, then they will pay for the item to come back to you. So it is a 50-50 split and you can even return in store. If you purchased online and the fit is not right, you don't like the color, you changed your mind, you can always go in store anywhere in their stores in Gauteng and you can get a return there an exchange and even a refund there are time periods for this i believe for exchanges and returns it's seven or 14 days i'm not quite sure i'll put it on the screen for you guys but please be very very wary of that make sure that if you get the shoes today you fit them today you make sure that you go onto their website and you process your return at the same time don't call email what 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 you're wasting your time you're wasting your time just go onto the website and fill in all the information and you will get assisted. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know if you guys are interested in the blazers and suits. I think that could be our next video. I, I really just need a new wardrobe. Like it's not even funny. Like clothes just don't fit me anymore. Yeah, let me know if you guys are interested in that. And then the sets as well. The sets will be like a mixture of some winter stuff and then some summer stuff. Because if you really want to save money, like especially like someone like me getting a whole new wardrobe, if you want to save money, you want to purchase out of season. So maybe we can do like blazers and suits because that's something you can wear in winter. And then later on, maybe we can do like the matching sets um, like later on so that we have some winter stuff and some summer stuff. Okay, girl, let me know which item is your favorite. And I'd really, really love to hear from you guys. What do you guys think like stores like Yellow Sub Trading could improve on? And which other shoes from like their website or anywhere in Small Street and Maraba Start are you guys interested in? I'm really interested to see which type of shoes people are going to be wearing this winter. I know for jackets and coats, there's going to be a ton and a ton of fur. And in summer, we're going to see a lot of feathers. So I'm really, really excited to see the trends that will be picked up in South Africa this winter. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. If my mom is watching this, I'm sure she's just clapping her hands. My mom loves it when I look natural. My mom loves natural hair. Yo, my mom, if, if I go home and I have an afro, short or long, she'll be like, oh, do I know? Okay, she doesn't, she doesn't call her. So yeah, shout out to you, mom. I love you. Bye, guys.